Welcome to the Here's My Story channel. I'm Cora. One Sunday morning, I woke up to my sister screaming. I ran out of my room in a panic, but the house was empty. When my sister Alice screamed again, I realized she was in the backyard. When I ran outside, I couldn't believe my eyes. Her screams had scared me, but she was actually screaming with glee. My mom gave her a white miniature horse. Mom, are you serious? I can't believe you! Did you get her a real horse now? I yelled. Alice jumped in before my mom had a chance. First of all, she's not a horse, she's a pony, and she has a name, she said, turning to the little horse. Little sunshine, let me introduce you to Cora, my jealous older sister. She'll be jealous of you as she always is with everything I get. Unfortunately, that's how she is. You have to get used to it, <laughs> she said, giggling. My mom interrupted. Girls, please stop bickering. Cora, honey, you know how your sister is. When she wants something, she won't give up until she gets it. I couldn't say no to her, and I got it on discount, too. Apparently, these usually go for $3,500, but I only paid $3,000 for it. Wow, now we have a $3,000 pony hanging out in our backyard. As you might have guessed, this is not the only thing my sister has made my parents buy her. This is her room. What do you see? Designer clothes, handbags from upscale brands, sparkling jewelry. For example, this Louis Vuitton bag cost $1,800. Yes, I said $1,800. These Chanel sneakers are $1,300. These Tiffany earrings cost $850. If someone were to see only this room in the house, they would think that we were millionaires. But we are definitely not rich. My parents got divorced four years ago. We haven't seen our father in months. My mom's an accountant. She makes only enough for the rent and bills. But when my bratty sister gets obsessed with something and says, I love this, please get this, she never says no. <laughs> that night, I went up to my mom and said, Mom, you don't have to buy Alice everything she wants. You bought her a horse? This is crazy. You're right, honey. I I'm aware of that, but I have no other choice. <gasps> Alice was very fond of your dad. When your dad left, Alice got depressed. I started taking her shopping to cheer her up, but over time, it seems that this has become a habit for her. She needs to buy stuff to be happy. She can't be happy any other way, my mom replied. My mom could be right, but this still didn't mean that Alice should want things that are worth thousands of dollars. I went to my sister's room. Look, mom's paycheck is not high enough to buy all that luxury stuff. You might enjoy shopping, but don't ask for things that are so expensive. Please be more considerate. Mom isn't making enough money to afford a $3,000 horse, I said. Alice looked at me condescendingly. Stop calling her a horse. She's a pony. I deserve to have the nicest and most expensive things. I deserve everything mom has bought me. I don't care what you think, she yelled. A week passed. We were eating dinner, and Oops. Alice suddenly stopped. Mom, remember I tried on those jeans at Gucci? I took a selfie in the fitting room. I keep looking at that photo every night. Mommy, those jeans look so good. Can we go and get them for me tomorrow? Oh. She said. My mom was shocked. Honey, did you forget that those jeans cost $4,500? Do you think it's okay to spend that much money on <gasps> denim? I knew Alice wasn't going to give up. She would definitely do everything in her power to get what she wanted. She started sobbing. <laughs> dad used to be the only person who loved me, but he's not here anymore. If my dad were here, he would buy those jeans for me. You're just refusing to get them because you hate me. I couldn't keep silent. Alice, I can't believe you. How can you spend $4,500 on a pair of jeans? You're so selfish. <gasps> then Alice started sobbing even worse than before. Finally, my mom relented. She hugged her. Okay, baby, please don't cry. I'll find a way. Give me some time, she pleaded. As always, Alice had used her emotional blackmail tactic on my mom, and my mom had given in to my bratty sister's demand. Three days later, my mom and sister went to Gucci to get those jeans. At dinner, Alice was wearing a pair of Gucci jeans worth $4,500. My sister was on cloud nine because she had gotten what she wanted. My mom looked really sad. I had actually never seen her like this before. She had dark circles under her eyes. I'm sure it wasn't easy for her to come up with that kind of money. That must have been why she was so upset. After dinner, while we were cleaning up our plates, mom suddenly collapsed. She lost consciousness and fell to the ground. It looked like she injured her head and back. Call 911, now! I yelled at Alice. She went to her room to grab her phone. I'd taken a first aid class at school, so I knew what to do in a situation like this. 
I turned her head to the side without moving her. Alex came back to the kitchen, panicked. The, the ambulance is on its way. They'll be here shortly. What's wrong with mom? Why do you think she passed out? I don't know. We'll find out at the hospital. It was a bad fall. She might have broken something, I said. After a little while, the paramedics arrived. They took my mom to the hospital and we followed the ambulance in a cab. We waited anxiously in the waiting room. Finally, a doctor came to us. Your mom hurt her spine when she fell. We need to operate, but this is a very risky operation. I have to tell you that there's a risk of paralysis. There's a special team of doctors who do this kind of operation successfully in Boston, but it costs a lot to bring them over here as a team. Do you have the means to afford something like this? He asked. I shook my head no. Unfortunately not. My mom spent the last of her money on those pants my sister's wearing right now, I said. The doctor stared at my sister's pants in surprise. Alice started crying. She had realized how wrong she had been acting, but it was too late. I had an idea. I asked the doctor, how much do we need? I don't know exactly, but my guess will be around $20,000, he answered. When I asked, how long do we have to make the payment? He replied, you have to make the payment immediately after the operation. That means you have three days tops, he replied. I said to the doctor, please call that medical team you told us about. I'll get the money together before our payment is due. After the doctor left, my sister looked at me in shock. Where are you going to find that kind of money? She asked. I pointed to her jeans. You're wearing a percentage of that money right now. They will pay at least $3,000 for those Gucci jeans on secondhand clothing sites. The rest of the money is at home, in your room. Come on, let's get to it. There's a lot to sell, I said. I gathered from Alice's expression that she liked the solution. She calmed down. Can we sell off that horse too? She asked. My eyes teared up, but I held myself. Wasn't that a pony? I asked. Alice started crying. I'm so ashamed. Mom has no emergency funds and that's on me. I thought the more money my mom spent on me, the more she loved me. That's why I asked for something more expensive every time to test her love for me. Now I can see how wrong my thinking was. Please don't let anything happen to mom. If something happens to her, I'll never forgive myself. I hugged my sister. We both started crying. We were going to do our best for mom to get that surgery. Just as I had guessed, we were able to sell Alice's designer bags, clothes, and jewelry online fairly easily. After each piece we sold, my sister first danced with joy and then cried her heart out because she felt so guilty. At the end of the second day, our bank account had exactly $21,000. My mom was supposed to have surgery that day. She was kept under sedation so her body could remain still. They would wake her up after the surgery. The surgery was successful. When mom came to, we were by her bedside. She opened her eyes and Alice and I hugged each other. <laughs> mom was surprised to see we were getting along so well. Are you hugging? I think I'm still under and dreaming, she said laughing. We told her everything we did. She was moved. Then we all started crying. Then mom said, I have a confession to make. We were wondering what she was going to say. She started talking. That evening, I passed out because I was so stressed. I did something I'm very ashamed of. We might have to part ways for a while because I'll probably go to jail soon. <gasps> I told you my mom was an accountant at a firm. Apparently, she had been borrowing money from her friends in order to get Alice all those things she asked for. But when she ran out of people to ask, she was desperate. She started transferring money from the company account to her personal account. The last time she transferred money for the Gucci jeans, the total she transferred to her personal account was almost $12,000. Every quarter, the company accounts were checked. That meant, of course, that she would be caught. My mom said, next week, they'll figure out that I misappropriated the company funds. I know what's next. I'll be tried and then put into jail. I might not be able to see you for the next three to four years, she said. We were devastated. Right at that second, I got a text on my phone. After I read the text, I asked her, what if you put the money back? Would that resolve the issue? Mom replied, yes, but how would we come up with that kind of money? All the money you made from the sale of Alice's stuff will go towards the hospital bill and we don't have anything else. I turned to my mom first, then to Alice. I have some great news. I didn't know where we could sell Little Sunshine, so I put her on auction on eBay. The auction was finalized just now and our little white horse was sold for $13,000. Apparently white ponies are rare. A millionaire needed a white pony for his daughter's birthday. He just texted me asking if he can come now and get the pony. He's going to pay cash. <laughs> so this is how our pony saved my mom from going to jail. My mom put back the money she took from the company before anyone could find out. 
Alice still feels bad about what she did. I'm not going to lie, but I want her to feel bad. Because I think in order for her to not go back to her old ways, Alice needs to feel guilty a little longer.